What's going on guys? Just wanted to uh, show you guys and react to a video with you. Just as I saw it the other night um, and I thought it was really funny and it's basically called What Do These Celebs Have to Say About Justin Trudeau? I think you already uh, know what they're about to say, but let's play it and react to it anyway. Oh, this guy Trudeau, shut the fuck up. This guy. Oh, Justin, just stop. Complete incompetency. I thought he was kind of a cool guy. Mr. Trudeau, you are a disgrace for any democracy. Canada, the country is full of effing, falling apart. Living in Justin Trudeau's Canada, it's a never, it's a never-ending hallucinogenic surreal dream. <laughs> Total incompetency. Who tramples on fundamental rights. And person, whatever you want to call yourself. I was not a good one for that. I would have said Canada up until recently. Now you do sound like him. No, that's mm -hmm. not. They mm -hmm. went after the people that donated. How horrific. They're not. That was not that, the criminal. Right. So, peaceful protest, which everybody's supposed to be all about. Justin Trudeau. Only if you're on the left. Justin Trudeau's recent move. That's sake, Mr. Trudeau. Oh, he's too fast. <laughs> I'm yeah. surprised to hear that Trudeau said that. I had a feeling he was going to be in there. I called him out on the fact that he's not paying 2%, and I guess he's not very happy about it. No executional skills. Justin Trudeau's recent move to clamp down and censor podcasts. Very, very, very worse. A lot of people getting shadow like banned them. on YouTube. I'll be like, huh? <laughs> because you do not know the history of the world until funny. Justin Trudeau's mode of governance is to top each scandal with a bigger scandal. And he shut their bank accounts. Down. That's crazy, man. Trudeau uh, is the worst prime minister ever put in power. It's not the first time we've seen Trudeau groveling. Climate activist Greta Thunberg called out Justin Trudeau. <laughs> Incredibly weak. Just crazy. Yeah. Absolutely the worst. I've ever seen. Trudeau is trying to cross free speech in Canada. Shameful. Please spare us your presence. You didn't see the black flag. <laughs> Joe Rogan will not be moving to the Great White North anytime soon. Criminalizing his own citizens. He is the worst manager Canada has ever had. Don't eat you. I so I'm just going to, you know, we've seen uh, enough. It's pretty, it's basically over there anyway. But so this channel is, uh, it's, it's called Tuck Fruto. And it's just, I thought it was very funny the way this was put together. I thought it was well put together. And you see the celebrities from all walks of life, Pierce Morgan, Joe Rogan, uh, Jordan Peterson, even the Greta, um, the gremlin, Greta Thunberg, even decided to trash him multiple times, probably doing that when she's not busy getting arrested. But it's just, it's, it's funny how many people are just like, even other politicians, like we saw, you know, a, a bunch of people who are in the political world, either political commentary or politicians themselves. They just, everyone thinks this guy's a moron. Everybody hates him. And yet he's still sitting there in his office going, yeah, I think I could win another election. Yeah, that's if you even make it there, dude. You might be going to jail. Treason is a real thing. Violating the Charter of Rights, which the federal court agrees with the people of Canada, well, the smart people of Canada on that one. So, yeah, it's not looking great. It's not looking great for him. And then not to mention, you take in the factor that he's getting dominated in the polls still. Even after that new housing budget he released, he's it didn't help his popularity. I think he went up a little bit by like two points, but then he went right back down. Pierre Polya was still 42, 43 percent. You know, again, I know polls don't vote, but angry Canadians do, and we are that. We are very, very, very angry. And the more people keep, you know, showing videos like this, and people like Kevin O'Leary, for example, just keep shouting it through the rooftops that, you know, this guy has to go. Whether you like him or dislike him as a person or as a politician, he's just clearly been bad. Like, it's not subjective. The last time housing was affordable was probably the first year or so that Trudeau was in office, but that's because his policies hasn't come, hadn't come into effect yet. Right? So he was essentially took over a great housing market, great renters market. There was no shortage of rent or in these insane prices. 
You know, it was getting, it started to grow up a little bit, but that's expected. Maybe even more than it probably should, but under Trudeau, it's doubled. That's insane. You, you just can't live the way you used to if you're a middle class person anymore. Even if you make, you know, 20, 21 bucks an hour, which ain't bad money. What are you going to do with that if you live on your own, pay $1,600 for a one bedroom? What is that, like 60% of your, 70% of your income after taxes? It's crazy, but either way, guys, I just want to, I know this, is, uh, this channel is usually not, um, it's a bit more serious than just playing like a joke video like this, but there is a lot of truth to a lot of, uh, a lot of jokes, and I think there's a lot of truth to uh, this joke. Because, you know, like like I said, and not like everyone pointed out here, you know, this guy's just running Canada into the ground, financially speaking. In the name of virtue signaling, it's essentially. And it's just, it's garbage and people are sick of it, including myself. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps this channel. And I'll be back shortly with another video.